started the race, uh, the car was really, really loose, and um, we uh, we worked on it. And I was, I got it pretty decent in the middle of the part of the race, but we didn't have the initial, you know, we didn't have overall speed like we needed. And uh, we decided to make a change with about two or three runs left, and the car really was good after that. And uh, we had tires on everybody pretty much in front of us at the end on that last restart and just, you know, picked our way up through there. I was trying to catch them, and uh, I think I was there. Uh, we were the fastest car <clears throat> up until we got to, to within about 15 car lengths of Jeff, and I got real tight, and I'm sure by that time, they have to race for the win eventually. Somebody is going to start to try to chance it first, and it looked like Vickers was the one that did that, and he pushed the 48 much harder than probably Jimmy was wanting to go. And uh, I think Jeff and me both were sitting there knowing we didn't have a real shot at catching them because of the way the cars were all kind of equal. And uh, <clears throat> but we were, you know, running pretty hard. I think Jeff was, I don't know, going hard to last 10 probably. So, uh, you know, everybody, uh, once we got, once I caught Jeff or got within 15 car lengths of him, that was it. I couldn't really go any harder. I was sliding an Osa bad through the center and off the corner. I wasn't full throttle like I had been most of the run. The way our luck's been, you know, I wasn't sitting there thinking I was in the catbird seat. I was thinking maybe I'll get on the podium. But um, we, uh, I know that every one of those guys are real good at saving fuel, and we've all gotten smarter, I think, in the last year and a half, actually, on some of the tricks to do and some of the things we can uh, accomplish under caution to help ourselves. Well, I don't want to get too excited. You know, I want to do this. Every, you know, you want to be up front every week like this, and uh, you don't. You want to be there the whole race. You don't want to just come up there through the last 50 laps and surprise everybody. But um, you know, we're getting better as a team, and uh, we. You know, it's just really, really hard to be patient. I've been working since I've been starting working with Lance. I've been trying to work really hard to be the same person at the end of the race that I am at the start of the race, uh, mentally, and um, that really helps them stay stay focused on their job and working on the car instead of having to tr control me and my my problems they can they can they can think about what they're looking at on them laptops and figuring this and that and the other and what everything them engineers are telling them in their ear but uh so i think it just comes down to sticking with it you know staying with the team and trying to not to be a part of be a part of the solution instead of a part of the problem